Hello! Um, me and Penny welcome you back from our Hogwarts legacy. Um, if you guys don't remember, last episode we had to go through a whole haunted house type thingy majig, and we ended up getting someone sent to Azkaban, so that was kind of fun. But what I'm thinking today is we sh mm, man, we always have so much to do. Okay, I feel like we have been putting off the main quest so much, I kind of just want to start it. We'll see how it goes, and then depending on how long it takes, we can start working through all of these. I think. Or should- mm, I do kind of want to find Snidgets, though. Okay, we're gonna go speak to the uh, professor or whatever for the keeper trial. Okay, let's go speak to this lady, see what she has to say. I always forget how insane this looks. Welcome back. Hi. I have to go all the way- oh, I do. Hello, Professor. I have news. The goblins are looking for something. Another repository. They've built drills to help with their search. Oh, most troubling. Are these repositories like the broken container I found at Rookwood Castle? They are. I fear we have no time to lose. Have a look at the map. Fortunately, okay. the next trial is fairly nearby. It's Hogwarts. Oh? As you know, I was headmistress in my time. My portrait hangs in the headmaster's office. Um, in fact, I witnessed Professor Black learn of your arrival. And I'll confess that I wondered about you. Okay. Wait, is the next trial in the headmaster's office? It is. I had hoped that when the time came, the occupant of that office would be of help to us. Unfortunately, this headmaster seems wildly unconcerned with anything but himself. Oh. You'll need to access the office while he's away. I understand. Very well. We'll find some way to get in. Good. I shall meet you in my portrait there. Until then. You're kidding. Bruh. I have to somehow break into the headmaster's office. Well, in that case, that went a lot quicker than I thought. So we're just going to slowly start making our way through. Um, the Natty quests are freaking me out now because I just have a bad feeling something's going to happen to her now that her mom was like, I've foreseen something happening to you in your gazelle form, whatever. And Natty's not letting it go. So anyways, um, we'll just rip off the bandaid. We'll start with that one. Okay. What is she going to have to say? Hopefully nothing crazy. Are you ready to put an end to Halo? Oh, okay, never mind. This is... <laughs> an end. I'm ready to do what's needed to take Harlow down. I know you have a plan. We must gather information from the friends of Mr. Bickle that Archie and Mrs. Bickle mentioned. Agabus Filbert, Otto Dibble, and Mr. and Mrs. Rib. All right. I suggest that you speak with each of them while I head to the Hogshead. I saw some Ashwinders heading there. That and seems as like my a bad idea. Would never go near the hog's head. She is less likely to learn of my activities than if I were to wander the village questioning its residents. It seems like such a bad idea though. Where am I to find these friends of his? I do not know about Mr. Rib, but his wife, Daisy, is often in Hogsmeade, as is Agabus Filbert. And Otto Dibble, he works at Gladrags, so you will likely find him there. Okay. What sort of information am I trying to gather from these people? They may know what evidence Mr. Bickle had against Harlow, or they may have evidence of their own. We simply need to know whatever they know. Perfect. So... Very well. I'll speak with them. See what I can learn. I knew I could rely on you. We need to know how they are being blackmailed by Rookwood and Harlow. Meet me here after you have spoken with them. Oh my god, we're gonna come back and she's Hopefully gonna be like... by the time you return... I will be able to move a bit more freely. <sighs> she's gonna be like, oh, this happened. Or maybe she's just not even gonna be there. Okay, well, let's go speak to these people. Aha! Uh -huh. oh, Isco, what have I done? Oh no. Mrs. Rabe, I wondered if I might speak with you about Theophilus Harlow. I'm a friend of the Bickles and I'm trying to gather evidence against Poor him. Poor Joanna and little Archie. And now Harlow has taken my darling Isco. Oh boy. What do you mean? Why? I'm a security guard at Gringotts, and my husband is a curse breaker for them. 
Harlow approached me about helping him extort my colleagues into giving him treasures from the vaults. And you declined? Of course I declined. Repeatedly. I thought they'd given up until I came home one night and found my husband gone and a note affixed to my door with a knife. The oh. note stated that I only had a few days to reconsider helping with some banking needs and that my husband would appreciate it if I acted quickly. But the help Harlow wants is help that I cannot give. And my dearest Isco is paying the price. Oh, no. Why wouldn't Harlow extort your husband? Isco's job is even more removed from the vaults than mine. He travels the world for the bank. He could do nothing for Harlow. I'm the one in the bank on a daily basis, which evidently makes me an enticing target for blackmail. Okay. But have you helped Harlow since your husband was taken? No. I'm worried sick about Isco, but he'd never want me to compromise my integrity. I also know that he's extremely clever. That said, I was hoping he would have escaped by now. It makes me concerned as to why he hasn't. Oh, please don't be dead. Are you sure the note means that your husband was kidnapped? What else could it possibly mean? Besides, I came home to find that someone had trampled the daisies in our garden. It may sound silly, but those were Isco's pride and joy. He would never have let that happen. Okay. Thank you, Mrs. Rabe. Knowing the lengths that Harlow will go to is helpful, albeit more than disturbing. Mr. Bickle was trying to help us, but now he's gone. I don't know what to do. I shall do all I can to get evidence against Harlow, Mrs. Rabe. Very well. Here's the note I received. You must be careful as well. Please don't put yourself in danger. Too late. Okay, Mrs. Rabe, we do hope you will reconsider helping us with our banking needs. We've given you ample time to reach a decision on your own, but we are beginning to lose our patience. We know your husband would appreciate it if you were to see the value in our working together. Shall we expect a response by week's end? Best to keep this between us if you understand our meaning. Some evidence worth hanging on to. Uh -huh. Thank you. Oh, I hope it's not too late. Well, I can't no, guarantee... Mr. Wiggles, other two friends. It may indeed be too late. I don't want to be that person. But now I'm kind of shocked that they're not having me go on a mission to find him. I feel like every single time without fail, they're like, oh, you need to go on this long mission to go save this random person you've never heard of before. And it's like, OK, Otto Dibble works at Gladrags. I should check there. Checking. Perhaps it's been here all along. Hello. Mr. Dibble, may I speak with you? It's about Theophilus Harlow. I have nothing to say about him. Uh, may oh. I interest you in a stunning cravat today? Please, sir, I would like to help. I spoke to Mrs. Bickle. <laughs> you know the Bickles? Mm, uh. All right, but we must be discreet. Can't have Mr. Hill hearing this. Okay. I know Mr. Hill. He was kind to me the day of the troll attack. Oh, he's a good man. But even he wouldn't understand about Harlow. It started a few weeks ago. I was distracted, reading a note when you-know-who came into the shop. I had the note behind the counter and offered to help him. He stared at me for a moment, then asked me to check on an order he'd placed. I went into the storeroom to check on what turned out to be a non-existent oh boy. order. When I returned, he was holding the note. What was in the note? It was a note from Rosie Hill, Mr. Hill's daughter. You see... We've been, well, secretly oh. engaged these oh. past six months. Oh. We haven't told Mr. Hill yet. I dare say he has higher hopes for her. <laughs> Harlow advised me in no uncertain terms that my relationship with Rosie, not to mention my employment here, depended upon my cooperation. What did he ask you to do? It all happened so quickly. In an instant, he took a very expensive scarf from the counter, pocketed it, and smiled. He said, your secret is safe as long as I can supply my lady friend with delightful items like this every so often. I've been able to cover for his request until now with some creative bookkeeping, but I can't keep it out for much longer. I'm terrified to say anything. I could never live without Rosie. Oh boy, okay. Why don't you just test your luck and tell him? 
Could you give me a bit more detail about the note that might help me to identify it should I come across it? It's from Rosie's special pink stationery. It has her monogram at the top, R.H. That's how Mr. Hill would know it was real. Okay. What have you been doing to keep the extortion a secret? Well, as I mentioned, creative bookkeeping. And I've also been trying to cover the costs with my own savings, but I'm running out of money. Oh, no. Of course, none of this bodes well for my efforts to improve my circumstances and to be worthy of Rosie. Yeah, that's probably not going to help your case. I met Mr. Hill the day of the troll attack. He was kind to me. Why don't you just tell him? He's a lovely man. But when it comes to Rosie, I fear he loses all perspective. He'd see this as a grave betrayal. Well, it is her daughter. I his daughter. I job instantly and Rosie as well. Well, at this point, though, I, I don't know. This is a situation I was not prepared for. Thank you for telling me. I'm gathering evidence to take Harlow down. I would love nothing more than to see him rotting in Azkaban, but be careful. <laughs> He's an awful man and incredibly dangerous. As for Rosie's letter, should you happen upon it, I have committed it to memory. You may destroy it immediately. Understood. Okay, so... Now hurry off before Mr. Hill returns. Where was I? Going away. We're Perfect. on the right track. Now to find the last of Mr. Bickle's friends. So for that, we just have to find the note and destroy it? Is that... Did I understand that correctly? Hmm. Agabus Philbert must be around here somewhere. I have a feeling he's right there. Hey. Hello there. Hi. Excuse me, Mr. Filbert. I wondered if I might speak with you about your dealings with Theophilus Harlow. I hope to ease Mrs. Bickle's mind by gathering evidence against him. Oh, tragic what happened to Bickle. He wanted me to speak out against Harlow for an act of violence committed against me. Oh? But I feared Harlow's retaliation, and so I refused. Oh, no. Well, if we're technically speaking here, right, I don't feel like I have... Okay, Harlow 100% would have retaliated, and I don't think this guy would have been able to protect himself, so I wouldn't be shocked if he would have ended up like Mr. Bickle. So... You may have shared Mr. Bickle's fate if you had spoken out against Harlow yeah. as he requested. Unfortunately, I suspect you're right. You said that Harlow committed an act of violence against you. Could you tell me what happened? Before my extraordinary wife, Dulcibella, passed away, she had just completed a small book of poetry. As a surprise for her birthday, one she never had the chance to celebrate, I had the book beautifully bound and plated in gold. Oh. One day, Harlow came calling to punish me for having spoken out against the Neanderthals that comprise Rookwood's lot. Before I knew it, I'd been petrified, and Harlow was rifling through my home. He found the book of poetry, with its exquisite gold plating. I watched helplessly, lying there in my entranceway as he walked away with the book, laughing as he went. I was shaken to my core. Still am, to be honest. I imagine you fear Harlow retaliating again. But do you mind if I share this information with Officer Singer? <sighs> I suppose I have no choice. This extortion can't go on forever. You can pass it on to anyone who may be willing to help. Okay, why is he Harlow taking does not books? not like people talking, as you already know. I know. I've spoken with Mr. Beckel's friends. Now to find Natty. Okay, now I swear... Oh, I almost just set myself into the river. I swear if something happened to Natty, I'm gonna be so upset. I feel like it's a matter of time, though. Just like, it's a matter of time until Sebastian gets psycho and goes mad. Natty, you better be here. Please. Please, 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 please. Oh, no. It's not like Natty to be late. Oh. She said she was going to the Hogshead. Perhaps I'll find her there. I'm so mad. I knew this was going to happen. Now my question is, are they like mean enough in this game to actually kill people off? Cause I swear, I swear, oh my god, I don't know if I want to do this. Natty must be around here somewhere. Maybe. Maybe she got stolen. That's so bad. 
Oh, I don't like the music. I don't like the music at all. Oh no. That he's wand. She can cast without it. She wanted me to find this. <gasps> She's in trouble. Velio will show me where she was taken. <gasps> Shut up. Wait. So are we going back this way? Go in. Excuse me. Nosy little students get what's coming to them. <laughs> <gasps> he did something to her. He was involved. Where's Rebellion. where's the feet? Where's the feet? I, I knew it. Taken this way. I knew it. I need to find her quickly. We're going. Footprints led to this room. There must be another way forward. Oh. Is this a thing? Oh, door. okay. Ha ha ha. Natty must have been taken this way. I need to find her quickly. But what? <gasps> oh, optional. Oh my gosh. You know I'm doing it. Okay, I feel like trying to find their stuff is gonna be better if I'm hidden. So, so I need to find a love letter and book of poems i'd better be sure i'm not seen don't girl we're invisible what do you mean why is it doing that i'm surprised i've been given more territory using that girl's bike and no Well, you're right. I am coming in alone. <laughs> Plan of attack. Ooh. <laughs> okay, this is gonna be... Mm, this will be a bit tricky. That one up there is gonna see me no matter what I do. Okay, I feel like I need to just get these two. What was that sound? A payment with me, oh. and I'll make you pay through the nose. Did he see me? I don't think he did. My game's freaking out, though. Okay, can I sneak up behind him? You just knocked that over yourself. Oh my god, why are you sprinting like that? Nothing <laughs> even. Okay. Oh. I almost just messed up. That's fine. Found it in me. Ah. It's <gasps> Excuse me. Expulsion. Shy. Yeah, like what? Did he just kill his own dude? Ooh. Ah! Okay. You can shut up now, bro. That, that wasn't fun. My game did not enjoy that. The, <gasps> you are as dear to me as an augury whose voice foretells the coming rain. You are as loved by me as a corrupt could be, whose loyalty is true and plain. You have cast a spell over my heart. I want it not undone. You have charmed me from the very start. You have always been the one. Aww. Book of poems that was taken from Agabus Filbert. He'll be thrilled to have this back. Okay, well, we found one of the optional things. Now we gotta find the love letter. And Natty, of course. <laughs> oh, we found it, okay. 
My darling Otto, I have read your last letter over and over and I'm certain to read it again each hour until we are able to meet. I dread the notion that I will not see you soon, but I am not without hope. I long for the day that our engagement can be shared with those who we love, especially my dear father. I do not wonder at your wanting to wait until you are more settled, my love, and I know that you are doing all you can to ensure that such a situation is within our grasp. Please allow me to say that these past months of being able to share p publicly the feelings with which exalt me to the utmost pinnacle of happiness have been an existential challenge indeed. And now I am off to read your letter once more. Yours affectionately, Rosie. Otto Dibble's love letter Aww. from Rosie. He wanted me to destroy this if I found it. Okay. Consider it destroyed. Now we can go find Natty. <laughs> Natty! Natty must be here somewhere. Is there going to be more of them? Oh! <laughs> Mr. Rabe? Huh? Hold on, I'm trying to find secrets. Oh, Hello, what the heck? Oh! Hey! Mr. Rabe? Daisy told me you'd been abducted. You spoke <gasps> my wife. How is she? She's fine. I'm worried about you. Are you alright? I am alright. Thank you for coming. Got you. These locks are cursed. And there's an anti-apparition jinx on the cells. Even Natty's skill with wandless magic cannot free us. Okay. I need you to find my wand. Got it. Mr. Abe, I found your wand. Well done. I knew it was nearby. Now, you best stand back. One never knows how a curse will react to being broken. Well, fun fact, I've been cursed before, so that was cool. <laughs> Thanks, Sebastian. We good? Oh, okay, bro. Okay, okay, calm down. Yay! She's alive! What Thank now? Thank you, Mr. Isco. My pleasure. And how? Thank you, my friend. We owe our lives to your bravery. Yeah, it's fine. I may be too weak to disapparate with you both, but I can try. You go ahead. Find Officer Singer. We will get out of here on our own. That Very well. Mm. But be careful. Thank you, my young friends. Be prepared for a fight. These Ashwinders must pay. Um, s again? <laughs> I just thought I fought all of them. Oh my god, they're all gonna be out here, aren't they? <sighs> or not? Chilling so far? Why are there so many rats? Like, they've just been hanging out with all these things here. Are we good? Why do I feel Let's like- Let's find Officer Singer and put an end to Harlow once and for all. Natty, you're making me feel like I'm gonna have to fight everyone again. Oh, she's just already here. Hey! Just had to see you last episode, girl. What's up? That's I own I. I should have known. Oh no. And you, the troll dispatcher. Oh, thank goodness the two of you are safe. Well, are we about to be in trouble or something? Isco Rabe told me a couple of students had rescued him. Should have known it was you too. Is Mr. Rabe all right? He is. I sent him home to his wife, Miss Onai. Your mother will not be pleased <gasps> to learn that you're still risking your safety pursuing these dangerous men. Actually, Officer Singer, Natty and I learned of several Hogsmeade residents who've had their lives threatened by the Ashwinders. In addition to abducting Mr. Rabe to blackmail his wife and Natty, Rookwood and Harlow have also extorted Agabus Filbert and Otto Dibble. <sighs> I will look into all of that. Uh -huh. As for the two of you, I appreciate what you're trying to do, but you are taking great risk. Next time, please let the authorities handle the Ashwinders. Bro, if I say the authorities haven't been much help, am I going to get in trouble? I'm just going to do it. With all due respect, officer, the authorities haven't done much about any of this. There's more to taking down an organization like the Ashwinders than simply storming in and hauling them off based on a few accusations. I get that. I must insist that you leave them to us. We shall have no further discussion on this. Natsai, you may wish to speak with your mother about this before I do. Oh boy. My mother will not like this. Thank you again for rescuing me. We shall speak soon. Yeah, I got you. Okay. Where did you just come from? But 
here's the thing. I do understand that it takes a little bit more effort to, you know, go oh, what the Uh oh, now I can talk about the headmaster. I'm going to go talk to Poppy first. But it's kind of like I understand that because we're following our character, we're obviously going to see all of that aspect of it, but I have not heard or seen a single thing being done about it besides what we do. <laughs> well, with that, let's go talk to Poppy. I don't remember this part of the forest looking like this, but it's kind of cool. Oh, don't we have to talk to the centaurs for this? I'm a bit nervous for how this is going to go. Oh, she's just chilling. Okay, hey. I can do this. I can do this. They will want to help. Will they? Is this where we're meeting the centaurs? Well, they don't exactly know we're coming, so it's less of a meeting and more of a surprise, I suppose. <laughs> Once we tell them about the Snidgets, they'll understand why we came and they'll want to help. I hope you're right. Perhaps they'll be able to tell that we're sincere. There's something about them that's so knowing. It's almost unnerving. Hmm. Well, aren't they known for... Yeah. Yeah. I suppose they are known for having an air of omniscience. That's exactly the right word. I just... Never mind. What is it? Um... It's nothing, truly. I've... We've no secrets to hide. That's right. We'll simply be honest with them about what we're trying to do. They'll help um... us, won't they? Yes, of course. You're absolutely right. We'll meet with them, tell them about the Snidgets, and I'm sure to all be fu- <sighs> You are the talk of the school since you saved Mr. Reb and I from the Ashwinders. Natty, this is not the we time. So <laughs> we should discuss the next steps in our plan to stop <laughs> Um, what's happening? What do you think you're doing here? Please! We were hoping to speak with you- Ah! I suppose you'd like a tale for your friends of the time you spoke to a centaur, and it spoke back. No! Never! We're here because we need your help! Enough! You made a grave error in judgment in coming here, little witch. <gasps> oh... Leave them be, Alec. We do not harm oh. the young. It is not our way. You forget your place, old fool. I'm the leader of this herd, and while you cling to our way, their kind continues to slaughter beasts like us without a care. I haven't. From what I can see, they have slaughtered no one. They will leave here unharmed. Yay. Can we Mark like... my words, Doran. If I ever see them again, it will be all three of your heads. We didn't even do anything. We've been sitting here, minding our own business. Foolish children. Do you know what happens to wizards who wander here? Now, follow me Golden I... Slidgets are still alive, and the poachers are after them. They know that the key to finding them lies in the moonlight, but they don't know what that means, yet. Please help us find the Snidgets before the poachers do. Aww. Could it be? <gasps> what? What does that mean? In the south, there is a cave within which lies what the poachers seek. A moonstone. Retrieve it and place it in the henge in the forest. I, on the other hand, must go speak with the herd. Find me after you have done this. Um... What's happening? <laughs> I don't understand. So the moonlight mentioned in the journal doesn't refer to actual moonlight, but to a moonstone. I'm not shocked. What do moonstones have to do with snidgets? And why was he so certain about where we could find one? I thought that's the reason we were talking to them, is because they would know. Isn't Moonstone all around us? Why retrieve one from a cave? The special Moon one. Centaurs, I suspect he's referring to a specific Moonstone. We'll likely know it when we see it. Okay. I don't know, but I am inclined to believe him. 
What with his being a centaur and all. I am too. It is a shame how quickly he left. What was his name? Doran. That's what the leader of the herd called him. Well, if Doran knows something we don't, I'd rather act now and ask questions later. Yeah. I can head to the library and start looking into the cave he mentioned. Bro, what? I'll let you know what I find. We can't even find it yet? Are you for real? <sighs> okay, let's go talk to Natty, get that out of the way. Even though it's just gonna be her, her mom getting mad at her, basically. Ooh, I spot a side quest. What is this side quest for? Hey. Pardon me. Is everything all right? No. No, it's not. Oh, okay. We only had two bells to go, but she just had to go and spoil things. I'm afraid I don't follow. Who spoiled things? Also, what bells? <sighs> Professor Black ordered Mr. Moon to take down the bells in the bell tower. Said they were giving him a headache. Those bells are a part of Hogwarts. I wasn't about to let that happen. So, I asked my friend Adelaide to help me put them back. Oh no. We've always been a duo of sorts. Adelaide and Evangeline. Addie and Evie. Anyway, it was going swimmingly until Black started asking questions. Then she wasn't comfortable with our rule breaking. Now I'm stuck. Unable to tell which bell goes where. Oh, okay. Is it really that important that the bells go back up? Is it really that important? They're part of the school's history. Those bells likely told a young Merlin that he was running late to charms, or called Ignatia Wildsmith to dinner. We can't simply fiddle with history. We're meant to be its stewards. Okay, I get it. It's certainly an odd decree, even for Black. Taking down the bells for a headache. I agree. I thought it might also have been that they interrupted his hourly naps. <laughs> That's all he does in his office, you know. But then I heard, can you keep a secret? Yeah, I can. I heard from Alice, who heard from Ollie, who oh heard boy. from Eugenia, that it's because the bells reminded him of his wedding day. Oh. Breaks out in a sweat every hour on the hour. But mum's the word. Um, okay. If only two bells are left, isn't it fairly easy to tell which goes where? Easy for you, perhaps. I happen to be tone deaf. Oh. Mother likes to say I couldn't carry a tune if it hopped on my back like a chocolate frog. No point putting them back in if they don't sound just as they did before, for the sake of historical accuracy. This is an interesting quest. Perhaps I could help put the bells back up. Really? Oh, that would be wonderful. The bells are in the bell tower just above the music room. You're certainly of more help than Adelaide. <laughs> Okay. Well, I didn't I fully the bells are just inside the bell tower. Didn't fully anticipate this, but I'm not mad about it. A bell. Huh, found them. I'll have to get those up there somehow. Wingardium Leviosa, perhaps. What 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 what? Wingardium Leviosa. <laughs> Uh, this isn't obvious at all that I'm messing with these. <laughs> there we go. Oops. I just... <sighs> oh my gosh, did I just throw it all the way down? No. No way. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Does it have to ring every single time it hits something? I understand it's realistic, but come on. Now how do I get it in? One up, one to go. Are you for real? Okay. Come on. Ding 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 ding. Oh, that wasn't too hard. Evangeline should be pleased about this, even if Black isn't. So are we good? 
All I'm gonna say is it's gonna be pretty obvious to Black that they're back up. <laughs> they're not quiet, that's for sure. Okay. The sheer nerve taking- The bell's are back up, Evangeline. Ah, oh, you're a credit to the school. I can't wait to hear them. I can't wait for the headmaster to hear them. <laughs> I wish I could see his face. Future generations may not truly appreciate what you've done, but I do. And I hope that you do as well. I'm not mad. I don't know how much this means for me and for Hogwarts. Um, with that, I know I was going to go talk to Natty, but we're just going to end it here. We'll talk to Natty next episode. We honestly accomplished more than I expected us to. We had a little setback last episode, but okay, we caught back up today. But yeah, we're gonna leave it here. Hopefully you enjoyed. Any tips or comments you'd like to leave, go ahead and leave those below. I love reading them. But with that, I'm gonna leave it here. I will see you all next week for more Hogwarts Legacy. Bye!